What's up everyone? It's Ricky Lopez up in this joint. So I want to go ahead and talk about why I don't listen to pop music anymore. So a lot of mu pop music has changed since back in my day and I feel like it has gotten worse and don't get me wrong, there are I still would listen to pop songs, but it's not one of those things where I can turn on the radio and whatever pop song comes up, I like. No, no sir. It has to I have to strictly like cherry pick what songs are eligible for me to be able to even listen because it's just gotten so bad and let me explain why it's gotten so bad ageism okay madonna britney beyonce j-lo pitbull akon I'm trying to think of who, uh, what other artists are out there that are basically no longer in their 20s so Based off of that little thing that I just said, ageism, okay? Everybody on American Top 40 or in the pop, you know, in pop music is literally that that's like doing successful and that's charting. They're in their 20s, okay? Or at least they're trying to appeal to a college young fan base. And I do not like that because, for example, Madonna put out Rebel Heart. She put out an incredible album and radios were did not play it and she even called it out on her billboard speech that once you get to a certain age radios and people tend to like not see you as marketable anymore and they basically put you aside your music will not get played and i see that i feel i know i've seen it happen yo like she put out a good album but none of those songs were being played on the radio but you know who was being played on the radio? Everybody that was like <laughs> appealing to like a 20 year old demographic. So I just don't like the ageism at all. I feel like pop radio should be playing music because music is good, not because of them trying to please a certain audience. But that's the world of pop that we live in. Another thing that I really don't like about pop is that they share a lot of these pop songs have a formula and they're basically they basically come out from the same producer max martin dr luke before the whole kesha situation benny blanco all of these all of these producers they literally sh they're literally like if there's a song that's on the radio that's pop chances are they've been produced by like a big pop producer or they're like linked to like one of those me those like i said those pop producers so it just sounds so manufactured like I, I like i said good music is good music but something just upsets in my stomach to know that a lot of my favorite songs and a lot of my favorite artists um that song and a lot of these artists they all share like the same formula based producers that share that have a specific formula to make the song very commercial and that's another so yeah we got ageism and we got you know over the overused producers which i'm not knocking at all but it's like that's one of the reasons why i just don't like to listen to it and i also feel like there is kind of uh there's just it's just like it's just not i just don't like it because of how long it is so usually when it comes to rap songs or la or you know not some latin songs you know they're pop like these rap songs and Latin songs, they tend to be longer than pop songs. If you look up at the Spotify or whatever, your favorite pop song that's like on the radio or that's like by a pop artist, the songs are literally three minutes and 32 seconds long. Lengthwise, I feel like that's just kind of weird that every single pop song that's like hit, that's like a hit is pretty much very, you know, like I said, they all have the same length. They all have like, you know, the same amount, like the timing when it comes to the chorus, you know, tends to be the same. So I kind of find that a little sketchy. Yeah. So other than that, like, I really hate, you know, how, you know, these pop artists are giving so much money, so much promotion, so much, you know, things. I feel like they're, I don't think they're being handed any of this stuff. They're working, but it just all comes off, comes off as a big marketing sketchiness that I really don't like. And one of the things that I have trouble, you know, digesting is the amount of writing and the amount of, you know, 
the amount of work that's put into one song. To take one example for Liam Payne. Liam Payne put out this one song with Quavo and the song literally has like 15, 15, maybe even more, 15, but yeah, 15 writers for like a short song. And I'm just like, bro, it took you guys 15 minutes, it took 15 people to come out with a song like that. Like, you know, whenever there's, like, the more people that's involved on a song, I feel like the, they have, there's, like, an agenda behind it. And it's just kind of weird. I don't know, man. Like, whenever I listen to these artists, I can't tell if they're being authentic or if they're trying to appeal to a certain demographic. And that's just, I don't know, man. Like, I still listen to it, but I just don't look too deep into it. Because, you know, like I said, it's just like pop music has turned into like a business. I mean, it's the entertainment business, you guys. You know, people got to eat. People got to find ways to make money. So, yeah, man, that's my whole spiel, little rant on pop music and why I don't listen to it anymore. And also, I don't listen to pop music because there's not enough diversity. Like, honestly, like I can't think of a whole lot of artists that are of color that are mainstream and the artists that are of different ethnicities and different minorities, they're te they tend to be light skin, and you rarely see or you rarely hear anybody that's like, uh, that's on the radio that's like dark skin. The only people that come to mind are like Lizzo and Normani. Um, in terms of males, like I like The Weeknd. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's, like I said, it's too commercial, it's too ageism, it's too formulated, and it's just, you know, it's not enough diversity. So that's why I really don't listen to it. I will be honest though, I will listen to certain pop songs, but like I said, I have to literally like sit down and be like, is this song worth my time? Is this artist worth my time? Or, you know, or if there's like a viral video and I might click on it, but, you know, I don't go looking for pop music like I used to. I just like to stick in my area, which is Latin. So that's my whole rant on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little spiel, little rant, and I'll see y'all next time.